EV death matches. I, I stay away from them. <laughs> and, and one of the things that's really interesting is that oftentimes people don't realize that the automakers who are members of the California Fuel Cell Partnership are also building battery electric vehicles. So if you look at this graph here, we've, we've done this as a conceptual graph, but looking, mapping complexity and the number of vehicles. And so if, if you're launching a plug-in electric vehicle market, you can launch the market kind of one garage at a time with some public charging. And as you go through time, the uh, complexity starts to go up because you're starting to reach into multifamily housing. You're adding more um, you know, transformers into the, in, increasing, increasingly hardening the grid as you go through time. On the other side, you have hydrogen, which, you know, very few vehicles, it's complex because it's, there's a lot of money involved and a lot of uncertainty in terms of launching a station with, with very few vehicles. But as the opposite trend, is, as you go through time, hydrogen becomes less and less complex um, because the number of uh, vehicles start to support those stations and the economics start to really work. And so for, for us, this is one of the key um, you know, arguments in favor of having both technologies. So we really want to drive the innovation on the hydrogen side, which you know will bring the cost down of hydrogen at, um, supporting the market, and then also make sure that we're kind of maximizing the near-term part of the, of the advantages of the plug-in electric vehicle and try to decrease the complexity through time there. So is there um, a number of vehicles there on the, on the x-axis? You know, could, you could look at in, in a region or at the state or in, you know, at the country level. So it kind of all depends. But if you, um, so it's, it's tough to, to answer really. But, you know, for us, if you, one of the things that Shell Hydrogen had done a bunch of analysis, for example, and about 70,000 vehicles in a region, they thought the price of hydrogen would be competitive with gasoline. In the hundreds of thousands of vehicles on the hydrogen side, it starts to look really attractive from an economic model. This vehicle is currently retailed at $57,400. Here in California, you can, when you purchase one of these vehicles, you qualify for the state rebate of $5,000 because it is an electric vehicle, um, so you're not emitting any emissions into the atmosphere. In addition to that, you qualify for the HOV lane sticker. And on top of that, um, what Toyota is doing for their customers is that they're incentivizing them with a fueling card um, and a lot of that just has to do with helping offset the cost um, that drivers would have to face if they were to pay for their own fuel so for their own fuel because of the limitation of, um, of hydrogen fueling stations right now in California but the industry is working into into building that network so that at a, at a point in time, drivers can then pay for their own fuel and it'll be just as cost as effective as, you know, filling up with, a, with gasoline or, or with charging with an electric vehicle comparison.